So, uh, welcome to the uh, quarterly London meetup for Risk Five. Um, this is the first time in nearly two years that we've actually got a physical meeting. It's a hybrid meeting, so we have uh, a select band in London, um, uh, including one of our speakers, and we have a much, a somewhat larger band, um, more widely spread. Uh, this meeting will be recorded. Um, one thing we've learned through um, lockdown is that by far our largest audience is the people who watch the videos afterwards. Um, so um, I don't have a special slide about the um, uh, Risk Five meetups. I'm supposed to officially present a whole history of the Risk Five movement and so forth. Risk Five is an open source instruction set architecture increasingly used around the world. Risk Five International has companies, universities, and organizations of all sizes that make up its membership, hundreds of them now. Um, and around the world, we get together in what were physical meetups until two years ago and are now starting to resume as physical meetups to share knowledge and expertise. The London meetup is a little different. It's hosted by the British Computer Society Open Source Specialist Group, and we specifically focus on the open source aspects of RISC-V, because though the instruction set architecture is open, there are plenty of things out there that can then be built in a proprietary manner from that. Uh, so today, uh, we have uh, three talks. Um, we have one from... Um, Olaf uh, Kindren, Kindgren, um, um, inventor of Serve, um, and that will very much take a, the form of a Q&A session. Uh, so um, get your questions ready for Olaf, and it includes multimedia, because he's got a film to show us as well. Um, then we'll have Charles McFarlane from Codeplay um, talking about their work with AI and RISC-V. And finally, we'll have uh, Veronia Iskander from TU Dresden and Will Jones from Embercosm talking about their work adding uh, 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 AI support to the Core 5 version of the RISC-5 architecture. So without further ado, I'm hoping the technology works. I'll hand over to Olaf.